In a shocking announcement that has sent shockwaves through the science and aviation communities, U.S. experts have just shown off a remarkably advanced plane that looks like a UFO. This amazing new invention is going to change the way we think about flying. It's pushing the limits of technology and making us think about what's possible in the sky. What is it about this plane that makes it stand out? The most interesting question is what this amazing development means for the future of flying and our quest to find out more about the universe. Explore the amazing world of the insane new UFO airplane with us as we try to figure out what's going on inside. The Antelope Valley in California, known as the Skunk Works Armstrong Flight Research Center, is home to numerous military installations and government contractors serving the United States defense sector. The area is known for its mysterious artifacts, including the True 3 a Black Manta, a hypersonic reconnaissance aircraft developed by the U.S. Air Force in collaboration with Northrop Grumman. The Black Manta was believed to be more than just a flying wing. It was a flawless black triangular. The heart of the mysterious plane was thought to be a power plant that used high-pressure mercury accelerated by nuclear energy to produce plasma, creating an almost complete anti-gravity field around the craft and reducing its weight by 89%. All to three surfaces were coated with a radio-observing polymer that could change its reflectivity and color, and combined with advanced reconnaissance electronic systems, it could appear on radar as a miniature or cylindrical flying object. The configuration of the rotatable crew compartment is encircled on all sides by a plasma-filled accelerator ring called the magnetic field disruptor. This technology is years ahead of anything that could be imagined, as the mercury-based plasma is accelerated to a speed of 50,000 revolutions per minute while being pressured to a pressure of 250,000 atmospheres at a temperature of 150 degrees Kelvin. Conventional thrusters mounted on the extremities allowed the aircraft to move at high speeds in three axes at speeds up to Mach 9. The fact that this triangle was spotted not only in the United States but also in other nations is difficult to dispute. In the early 1990s, eyewitnesses captured multiple photographs of a strange object with four brilliant lights and mistakenly recorded it as a UFO, although it was most likely just a meteor. During the Gulf War, these reconnaissance vehicles were thought to have been employed to provide laser targeting for Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk bombers to destroy targets with laser-guided bombs. Some argue that the unexplained aircraft was part of a research project conducted in advance of the V-2 Spirits, serving as a model for testing aerodynamic solutions and improving future bomber performance. Northrup was the inventor of both machines, but the amount of money spent on the development of the Black Manta, which was over $3 billion, looked unfathomably high at the time. The TR-3A, a stealth aircraft, is known for its advanced technologies, including weather control, long-range combat lasers, and alien technologies. These were obtained by authorities after a UFO crash. The Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, the most well-known American stealth aircraft, was developed secretly and was even used as a kid model for the Rebel brand. The fifth generation of the F-19 was involved in a crash in California in 1986, sparking renewed interest in the F-19 myth among the general population. The F-117's combat debut in 1988 saw it log over 6,900 fly hours, fly over 1,300 sorties, and destroy over 1,600 targets during Operation Desert Storm. The misleading numbering F-117F equals fighter suggests that the device's fighter nature was deliberately chosen to hide the true purpose of future U.S. aircraft from the U.S. ever. During the NATO campaign in Kosovo in 1999, the only F-117 to be destroyed in combat crashed over Serbia. The pilot successfully ejected from the aircraft and was saved. The Nighthawk lamp, pilot's helmet, and ejection seat can be shown in the Belgrade War Museum today. After the F-117's accident, the People's Republic of China approached the government of Yugoslavia with a request to share its debris, which led to the PRC gaining access to the guidance systems, 
inconspicuous body pieces, and heat-resistant components of the engine nozzle. Agents from the PRC searched the area where the American plane crashed and bought bits of the aircraft from local farmers to learn the stealth technology secret. The Lockheed Martin Skunk Works Division was tasked with developing the RUK-170 Sentinel UAV, also known as the Wraith, for the United States Air Force and the CIA. These unmanned aerial vehicles are believed to be flying frequently over dangerous places in the world to gather classified information. It wasn't until 2009 that the United States Air Force even wanted to confirm the presence of the devices. The RUK-170 Sentinel has a higher maximum takeoff weight than the RU-3 Dark Star, which has a maximum takeoff weight of 8,500 pounds. Some publications have stated that this was a deliberate decision by the designers due to uncertainty about the operational losses of the vehicles due to their single-engine design and the desire to avoid the risk of revealing advanced stealth technologies. The drones were shipped to Afghanistan in 2005 and were spotted at Kandahar International Airport, earning the airport the moniker Kandahar Beast. At least one of these drones was spotted in 2011 during Operation Neptune Spear. Iranian forces managed to land one of these drones while it was flying 140 miles from the Iranian border, likely spying on the country's nuclear efforts. While Iran claimed that it was able to hack the craft while it was in midair, United States Department of Defense officials dismissed that claim. The last time the operation of the UAV was mentioned was between September 2022 and February 2023, when the RQ-170 flew near Russia during the latter's treacherous attack on Ukraine. Before the experiments, there was widespread concern that the extraterrestrial bird of prey would not even be capable of taking off. Chief pilot Rudy Hogg successfully launched the bird into the air in 1996, but its top speed of only 300 miles per hour and altitude of only 20,000 feet were not particularly noteworthy. The Boeing specialists only declassified the bird in 2002, and its history has since been incorporated into many modern devices. For example, the Boeing X-45A, first unveiled in 2000, utilizes features that reduce its visibility on radar. The bird of prey can be seen in the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Wright-Patterson, Ohio, along with other mysterious U.S. aircraft. This is it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then share your thoughts in the comments and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can never miss our video.